Hey, it's Jake Mason. We're here in Shanghai, and um, my wife Pamela and I just got in. And come on out and see our hotel room. I'll show you. Mm -hmm. It's like just after midnight. And we're on the 30th floor. <laughs> well, it's so cold compared to like 85 degrees in Phoenix. So pretty developed. But I thought I would just take you through um, a little bit of my like after midnight, we just got off the train in the maglev, and then we got um, into Shanghai. We had a hot pot restaurant, which is cool. We got a nice vegetarian hot pot meal, and uh, about to my before bed routine to keep jet lag away. So come on and join me. I'll show you what I do. So I just got out of the shower, and now I'm ready to do my pre-bed workout. So what I do first is I get the blood going to my face. I kind of pick a spot against the wall, and I kind of just like lift up into a nice little handstand against the wall. And I'll just hold for, you know, as long as I can, about a minute. And I'm trying to, I've been on the plane for 14 hours in a row. Talk about stagnation. So I'm going to have all this blood flow back into my fingertips, back into my face, into my head, my brain. I'm going to breathe deep during the whole head, uh, handstand. Try to push up nice and high. I might even take like one leg and do some ankle rolls this way, other way, but I feel nice and good coming down. All that blood kind of flow out while I do some stretching coming up, balancing on the ball of my foot, and down. Do about three of those. Anything you can do to work out in the hotel room. Exhale down. I'll go to one of our brocades. Turning left and breathe in. Right, breathe out. So I'm stretching my lower back, shoulders, and hips. Then I do one more posture while I come up and salute toward the heavens. Ball the foot, come down and stretch toward the earth. Touch my toes as I breathe in and look up. Breathe out. One more. Hold there, breathe in, look up. And out. Then, I just try to do slow push-ups, not a burnout like for cardio, but I just do nice slow push-ups going down nice and slow and up nice and slow. So I'm not going for endurance or for number, I'm just trying to keep consistent motion and control it because I'm trying to use muscles and parts of my body I'm not going to use during our tour of China. We're going to be walking around, climbing mountains. Not a lot of arm type conditioning, so I'm going to build my arms in the hotel room. And this is helping my blood and my muscles to get a balance. So once I do about you know, as many as I can handle of that, I'll switch it over to the reverse part. And I'll just lift my lower back up, trying to get my lower back strength. And if you see my legs are straight, my shoulders are stretched and the muscles in my lower back are tight. My breathing deep. And then the two more things I do is I go from there right into my back bridge up this way and push that lower back high. Maybe five breaths of that. And then I roll over on my stomach and I U-shape up for about five breaths, keeping the knees close together. From there, hands down, pop up, walk my hands back, and just relax and stretch one more time. You guys can see from the side. Just 
now I'm exhausted and it's time for bed. But nothing too sweaty, nothing too endurance testing. Good for lower back, good for stretch. Almost a Qigong yoga-like feel. And that's one of the example of my pre-bed routine. Do what you need, know your limitations, and make them your strengths. And consistent practice when you're traveling is key. I'll see you in the next city.